Hi, Katie. I like the gentleman from Hampton. Uh, I thought it was a good presentation. Um, certainly did. And um, but I also have done some research, and seems like we all know some of the reputation that Comoros has. We know about the lawsuits all over the United States. Uh, New Hampshire, New Jersey, Delaware, Ohio, West Virginia. I realize it's not all related to specifically mining, but the, they're Comor companies nonetheless. Uh, in North Carolina, they were fined $13 million in order to provide and install and maintain uh, special drinking water systems for well owners. And that was only part of the penalties that they had. And right here, we have our own consent order um, that was instated uh, with Comoros in regards to cleaning up and reclaiming mined areas. Uh, I think our LDR says it has to be done within 18 months of when the, the area has been completely mined or when the mining's over with. And so far, I think I read one place where it was 10 years that has not been, yet been reclaimed. So um, I would have liked to, to um, heard more about addressing what's going to be done to assure that we don't run into these problems here. What kind of bond is going to be um, instituted and you know my preference would be that we don't allow the mining um, i realize they've been here a long time there's some good bradford county citizens here and um that work for comores i understand that um but i just don't want to have another situation where you know all of a sudden we're talking about hindsight and um you know what what we could have done or should have done so thank you that's my comments <coughs>